Hello again and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be skimming another cylinder head but this time I'm hoping I can show you a little bit more of the detail of what I have to do before I can actually start machining the head uh, i.e. cleaning up the faces, getting it set up on the miller machine to make sure everything's nice and flat uh, and then hopefully I can show you some of the machining uh, which has been you've seen in a in a previous video, but uh, hopefully this time I can show you in a little bit more depth. Okay, so let's go and have a look, see what's going on. First thing to do is to clean off any excess oil. Uh, usually things like cylinder heads are brought to me pretty clean, uh, normally being washed in paraffin or some such similar thing. Uh, I just mop off the excess so that I don't get too much mess over the machine. The next stage will be to take off any residue uh, gasket or uh, anything that may be stuck to the face of the, of the cylinder head. Uh, this is actually the top part of the cylinder head where the camshaft sit and that's the bit that will be sitting down on the machine. I've speeded this part of the video up just uh, basically because it's quite a, a long drawn out process for me to make sure it's clean and I'm afraid you would probably get pretty bored uh, watching the whole procedure at normal speed. So uh, we'll just make sure everything's nice and clean before we turn it over and clamp it down onto the machine. Uh, I've sat this uh, cylinder head on a parallel at each end of the, the head, basically because if it sits on the flat of the of the milling machine, there's every possibility it could, uh, any distortion would show up. But clamping it at each end, there's not a problem. As you can see, I've got some screws that are sitting proud of the, of the face that we're gonna machine. So these will need to be removed just to, to give me the clearance for the milling cutter to go across. So, once these are, are withdrawn, uh, they, can, they will obviously go back in before the cylinder head goes back to the client. Um, once these screws are all taken out, we can check, run a scrape, uh, sorry, a straight edge over the cylinder head just to make sure we don't have anything else sticking up above the face. So uh, there we go, run the straight edge down. Everything seems to be clear. We can now start machining. Here we have a single point cutter with a carbide tip running at a medium sort of speed on the head of the machine itself uh, with a fairly slow feed for the table just to make sure we get a nice smooth even finish. And here we have the finished article, nicely cleaned up, nice and smooth, no gaps in it at all, and ready to go back onto the, onto the engine and back in the car. As you can see, the small screws have been replaced, refitted, and Everything is all nice and smooth again. Well, there's another little job completed. Uh, another cylinder head nicely machined up and nice and clean, ready to be bolted back onto the engine and hopefully give a few more miles of trouble-free motoring. Hope you enjoyed the video and look out for more in the future. And obviously, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you very much. Goodbye.